Ryan, and I'm recording this from my studio in East New York. Um, this painting is called Kaput FM, and uh, the title refers to the floating uh, Blaupunkt car stereo, um, which I sort of, maybe not the specific model, but uh, I remember being a kid and like these kinds of radios were always in, you know, these older cars that, like, maybe my grandparents would have or something, and, uh, I remember, like, the buttons on these radios would, uh, they had this really specific kind of weight to them, and they made this really specific, really satisfying, um, sort of, uh, clicking sound, and, uh, yeah, I'm frequently in this painting, but then in a lot of paintings, too, I'm kind of using images of or referring to things with these sort of specific sense memories like um, you know related to, to touch or these sorts of things um, and with this specific scene I kind of think of it being like uh, this sort of like F Frankenstein-ish stacked collaged figure um, kind of in a like a getaway vehicle but the just like posing right before that he like makes his his break and uh but he's like in a, in a getaway car with this uh this radio that doesn't work or something hence kaput which actually with these like i would mess with these car radios so much and like click 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 the button so much that like they would often get jammed and i'd get yelled at or something so i'm kind of like imagining maybe that's the s scenario <laughs> Um, and the painting is 30 by 40 inches, which I'm, I've been enjoying working in this size because, um, anytime I do a figurative painting, it's sort of closer, uh, to like an actual, the figure ends up being closer to an actual sort of human size. So I think that the, the sort of like f fractured bodies and stuff kind of, it sort of underscores those moves and how things are rendered and um i don't know i think it's there's something more jarring maybe about seeing something like that in actual human size than than if it were to be this like tiny thing or like actually like a little collage or something like that um and so yeah in this one this sort of like marked the start maybe of working more in that scale um and I've been enjoying it, and it sort of like allows me to kind of do more sort of like bigger painterly moves, I think. Um, and I also am constantly referencing um, various like photographic sources, and you can see in this painting, I mean, I'm, I reference a lot of sort of found photography and images of friends that I've taken or loved ones or uh, a lot of film stills and I, I'm interested in imagery that uh, has this sort of cinematic quality or cine really sort of cinematic uh, lighting where there's like a bit of a drama to it, but it's it's only sort of hinted at and not really, it's sort of not really so specific. So it has this kind of like nostalgic vibe or um, yeah, I, it's maybe just more evocative and it's sort of, um, you know, more questions end up being asked than, uh, than me giving answers or something.